Hello and welcome, this is Rufamonger, and in this edition of Let's Learn Dragon Ball Fighters, we're going to be talking about how to do Android 16's Sparking Blast loop. So without any uh, further ado here, I'm just going to show you the loop as it stands, and then we're going to talk about its constituent parts, how to do it, and some other situations. So that's the general gist of it. Uh, there's a lot of permutations, which we'll go over a bit later here. And uh, But just look at the basics of what we got here. Obviously, we got a lot of corner carry. Uh, we got a fair bit of damage. We didn't even burn a single bar yet, and we already got over 5,000 damage. Uh, of course, we did start with a non-scaling starter. And look at our bar. We have over three and a half bars. We started with zero bars. So that's just kind of, uh, in a nutshell, obviously, just what we're looking for here. We have a lot of bar game, we get a fair bit of damage, and we also get a lot of corner carry. So now let's just break it down to its constituent parts. Now here, before anything else, obviously, hey, we need Sparking Blast, right? Uh, so you can combo into Sparking Blast any way you want, it doesn't really matter. Or heck, you know, you can even already be in Sparking Blast. And you can still get it just fine, right? It doesn't really matter how it starts as long as you're in Sparking Blast. So now let's look at uh, one of the most important things while you're in Sparking Blast. So after the uh, initial Sparking Blast activation, or if you already are in Sparking Blast and uh, are starting to work your combo, uh, the one thing you really got to know here, and we'll just talk about the activation first here, is well, obviously they will fly a bit. So what you need to do here during this is specifically hit medium and medium. So you'll do stand medium automatically combo and do down medium. But you need to do it fast. So here, this is me doing it quick. And it brings you down nice and easy. Now say I put any amount of delay on this, right? It doesn't really matter how you start it. But then they're just going to bounce out. So you actually have to hit them at the peak of the explosion. So if you let them fall in any way, shape, or form, you're just not going to be able to connect. And then the whole combo is ruined. So, it's not really any difficult timing, but it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, a lot of Sparking Blast combos, you actually wait for the gentleman to fall to the ground, and then keep your combo going. In this specific situation, you cannot wait in any way, shape, or form. Now, if you're already in Sparking Blast, and hey, you know, Bob's your uncle, it's all good, right? You can just keep going. But generally speaking, the flow is always going to be stand medium into crouch medium. Now, since you are in Sparking Blast, you're allowed to cancel any old uh, normal into any kind of jump, right? So after that, we're going to jump up and forward diagonally, and then we're just going to hit forward again. That's how we do our instant air dash trick. And you're just going to instant air dash forward. And we're going to hit light and light. And this is specifically holding back. So what happens here when you hold back and do lights is he will not go into the usual auto combo. So normally you hit light, light, light. This is going to happen, right? So if you hold back, Android 16, this will also work with several other characters. He will refrain from going into the auto combo, and he'll just do light and light. So now, once we are in the Sparking Blast, that basically gives us enough hits on to land, and then what we're going to do is just simply repeat the formula. And now what we are going to do now that we have talked it over, is simply rinse, wash, and repeat, honestly. Just keep it going. Now, obviously, you can't keep it going forever, right? There's no infinite. So... What's the trick to this specific variation where you're just doing loop after loop after loop? And the secret is basically uh, you got to watch out when you're getting close to 20 hits. Because once you get close to 20 hits is when you're going to do your jumping lights and land and not be able to connect that stand medium. So that happens very close to 20 hits. So say uh, if you are landing here and this is say hit number 18. When you land, uh, hit number 19 would be this. It's not going to connect. So before that happens, what you want to do is get your final landing in and just, you know, do the usual medium to down, medium what we did before, and then stand heavy. So hopefully uh, this combo structure is kind of ruined if you just want to do the pure loop version if you do your stand heavy early because you won't be able to get much of a follow-up. And basically, with the wonders of Android 16, unless your hit count is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely absurd, you'll always be able to get stand heavy, homing, light, medium, light, medium, light, dunk. So even with high hits, then you're still going to get that, and you can pretty much always end your combo structure with it. So now that we know the basics of the loop, you know how it's done, why it works. Now, is that the most damaging version of it? No, it's not. Uh, there's a million permutations out there, so I'm just going to show you one basic one here. It uh, has a slightly more damaging starter and works anywhere on the screen, and for the most part, it is the same combo. Just a 
So in that variation, uh, we use kind of a very standard dunk combo. We use our sparking blast right after, and immediately after, we ran forward a little bit just to gain a little extra bar, because you know, once again, if you're not aware, if you run forward, you gain bar. And then we did a very low to the ground, standing heavy, or jumping heavy, I suppose. And since we already used the dunk, that heavy can no longer wall splat. It will no longer launch the foe. So we use that, and then we immediately dash canceled that hit, because we're allowed to dash cancel any sort of hit right in the air. And that dash cancel became an aerial jumping medium attack, and then we landed, and then we kind of did the usual routine from there. So that one's a bit tricky, I'm not going to lie. So one thing to do, I personally do it myself in these kind of situations, you're allowed to do the forward and uh, homing button uh, dash trick which will let you get a aerial dash. You see here, I'm hitting forward and hitting uh, what would normally be the homing dash button while I'm in the air, and that lets me do an air dash. I find that a bit more reliable in very tight situations than hitting forward and forward. Uh, for you, your mileage may vary. Maybe that's tricky and forward forward works, but that's just a way to get uh, a couple of heavier hits earlier in the hit stun uh, that'll let you just get more damage overall on top. You know, obviously the heavy does more damage and a bunch of lights and all that kind of stuff. So that's using a slightly more advanced concept while still using one rep of the loop in the combo. And there you have it. So that's how the core loop works for Android 16. So once again, the most important part here is just kind of this part, little rep here. And there's so many ways to start a sparking combo. Uh, I showed you one with the jump heavy. Another way to do it is something like this, where you can use the normal command overhead everybody has and just kind of go from there, right? So there's so many ways to start, there's so many ways to finish, but just that core little hop with the double light, that's just kind of the core of the loop. You can do it as many times as you want, uh, hit stun permitting, but yeah, that's just the kind of the concept. So I hope this video helped you understand how that works. So that is it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.